I wish that we had brought our other boys with us, but of course they have their own life now. We have ours, so hopefully one day they'll bring their families here. Now that would be so cool. I never actually came here as a child, but David did with his family, so he was so keen to bring his boys back here. Good morning, guys. Somebody left their hat out there. Maybe it's a train. Something to do with the train drivers or train conductors or something. I don't know. I think we can do it. Good morning, guys. We're at Philmere Railway Museum. And we're going to catch the Trainworks Museum. We're going to catch the stream train. We're going to be going on a ride. The train's going forward. The smoke's going backwards. Going on a ride, Kyle. You know. Do you want to turn around, Kyle, to the other side? <coughs> Kyle! Did you not want to go backwards? Do you want to turn around? You're right. You can sit forwards if you want. <gasps> Look at all the smoke coming from it. Can you see the smog coming out of it, Kyle? Oh. You can open your window. This is what I was talking about, Mummy. Are you excited? Yo! Whoa, did you hear it? It's on a go, Dad. It's out now. Hey, the production leaves the station. Talk about excited. Are you excited? Are you excited? Don't just keep taking random photos. Okay. 
Should have made 20 photos of random. <laughs> If you guys can see, but it's a diner train. Oh my gosh, that would have been so cool to ride a diner train. Wouldn't that be so cool to be on a train where it cooks for you? Yeah, and you can sit there and eat. That would be the best idea of traveling. I don't want you to buy me one. He's telling me he's going to buy me one when I grow up. When he grows up. When I grow up. When he grows. Up. When he grows up. But how cool is that? A buffet diner. Can you imagine traveling on the train and the cook's cooking for you? Oh, I don't know if you can see with the glare of the sun. The sinks, there's like a hot plate, hot water. Imagine that, having food hot for you on the train. That would be the best thing ever. And I caved. I'm just trying to pick up my camera bag. I caved in and I've got a coffee. Um, I just couldn't cope. But it's a black coffee. It's not got any milk. But I caved and gave one. Got Dave to get me one. So it's the first one I've had in, I don't know. I'm just trying to grab it. Oh, gosh. Couldn't get it. First time I've had one in close to two weeks. I probably shouldn't have caved. But I'm hoping that it's helping me with some issues that I'm having with this juice fasting but dining at speed the rail travellers of New South Wales are spo spoilt by trains offering luxury and speed the envy of passengers around the world air conditioning, water wall carpeting, fluorescent lighting, reclining seats and a licensed restaurant that is just the best oh man that would be the way to travel wish they had trains like that still that would be so cool Hey, maybe they do and I just don't know because I haven't been on a long distance train before but I'm talking about it now I'm just like how far can we travel on a train Dave that'd be so cool and Dave's just gone back to the car to get the esky the boys are starving of course yeah, that would be cool turning a train into a house show me how the seats work Kyle this is an old train guys what year was this back in? Can you talk about how? What year was this back in? 1926. This train was. And the seats can change over. You have to change the whole seat over. Yeah. 
you eating an icy pole? Is that too cold? No? Daddy's going for a train ride. Oh, no. For old train. Do they used to sell these ones off for houses too? I don't know about these ones. Mm, make a great house. These ones they did. This is the old red rattler. Oh, we're going through to an old red rattler. Oh wow, look how old the seats are. Whoa. These were the trains they had when I was a kid. You rode on one of these when you were a kid? Hey, look at that. Close the doors and stand clear. You actually had to close the door yourself. <gasps> look at the train lines up on the wall. Sydney Rail Transport System, New Sydney Transport to Wollongong and Nara, Central Sydney City Circle, Warwick Farm, Regents Park. Oh my goodness, my grandmother used to live at Regents Park when she was alive. She lived, for, lived there for years and years and I used to go and visit her all the time. There's to Campbelltown. We used to live out near Campbelltown. David grew up at Glenfield. So there's Glenfield. Just after Liverpool, two stops after Liverpool, I think it was. I went to, I used to live in Campbelltown when I was growing up, and then we moved. I think I moved, let me think about this. Oh, I moved in year seven, and then I went to Beverly Hills Girls High School. There isn't that, was there a Beverly Hills train station? Yes, there was when I was little. Yes, there still is. Well, I hope there still is. It's on the Bexley North East Hills line was Beverly Hills. So we moved from Campbelltown to Beverly Hills when I was in year seven of can high I school. Can I blog on my tab? Yes, darling, you can blog on your tab. Yes, I'll take as many photos as I can. Ryan has a blog, but he just um just forgot to blog on it. Like he just doesn't keep going. So he wants to start his blog up again. It's called Cam Karen's Travels. Cameron's Travels blog, was it or something? Yeah, Cameron's Travels. And then they used to have... <gasps> you guys! She's got me! I thought you'd still kept going. And they used to have upstairs and downstairs. Pardon? This needs to be copied. Reflooring? Yep. Yeah, that's losing its floor, isn't it? Gosh, these trains are so old. So groovy. Brings back so many memories. Oh, we're driving the train now. Where are we going to? I don't know. You don't know? I don't need this. They used this here. Yeah. Not real far. Not going too far. We'll go to the roundhouse. Okay. Is the roundhouse open? No, don't think so. No, Cameron in the driving mode. You lost Cameron in the driving section. We're driving the train. He <laughs> was lost in, in there. 1994 was the big. Dad, when I Australia was the first city to have nothing but double-decker cars. 1944. 1994. 1994. Yeah. Nothing but double-deckers? Yeah. Wow. Dad. Yeah. This is just incredible. There's so much history here on trains. It's just an amazing place to explore. I reckon you could look at these trains for the whole afternoon and you wouldn't see it all. There's just so much to see. So much history. The saddle tank. No job too big. If you're a train enthusiastic or you love history, then this is the place to be. It's so cool. I wish that we had brought our other boys with us, but of course they have their own life now. We have ours, so hopefully one day they'll bring their families here. Now that would be so cool. I never actually came here as a child. But David did with his family, so he was so keen to bring his boys back here to see what he'd seen and explore what he'd explored. And it's really funny, he was telling us before that he's quite camera shy, he still is. If you haven't noticed, he's not in the vlogs very much because he doesn't like to be. I have to take a vlog without him realising. But when he came here with a kid, as a kid with his parents, he wouldn't let his mum take any photos. And then she insisted on taking one at the end. And then he was like, oh, that was okay. That was fun. That was cool. Take many more photos, mum. So I had to go back through the place taking more photos. So funny. And Cameron, Cameron's gone photo crazy with his tablet. He's taking photo after photo after photo with his tablet. What are you doing, my monkey? Watching. Ready? 
let's go. Because I've got too much to see and do. Ben's doing his own video. He's discovered his tablet can do videos as well. So he's going to do a video and add it to his blog later. Yeah, I'm video filming you. Hi! <laughs> Oh, I wish we could have a look inside. That is gorgeous. The rail pay bus. One of the oddest little items in the collectors of this rail pay bus, powered by a Ford V8 engine and employed for transporting employee wages all over the system. Oh, that's so beautiful. It's got tables. Is that tables and chairs with it? Table and chair set up. There it is. Table and chair set up. Oh, it's so sweet. I would so want to ride on that. <laughs> Hello. Are you stuck? Are you stuck? We found Thomas. Thomas the tank engine. Wish we could go on it. Looks like he's probably being worked on. That's Thomas, my older boys, my two older boys. They grew up on Thomas. We used to watch it all the time and read the books and had the toys. They had the toys, they had the bean bag, they had the bed covers, they had the whole lot, like a doona cover. They loved Thomas. They had the DVDs, the books, pictures, you name it. They had Thomas in every way they could possibly have Thomas. They had a play train set where they had Thomas on it. Yes, darling? I saw um, I saw a house train. Oh, did you? You could live oh, in it. Oh, did you see the wow. combi train? I love that combi train. Did you, work, did you know what that was about? What? Well, it carried pays from, like, the train station pays. It got robbed. <gasps> 2,000 pounds got robbed off that combi train. And that 2,000 pounds was somewhere train? out there. It was run off a V8 engine, and it used to take the pays. It used to carry all the pays for the railway people on the train, on that train itself. Oh, I think they made it a combi train so that people say I would think robbers wouldn't rob it because it was like peace and all of that. I don't know why it was made like that but it was made like that and it was in You know 19... how they do like peace dude, the combi dudes and oh, all that? Oh, you reckon it was meant to <laughs> distract people away from it. I did hear that sound. Was it a seal in the water? A it seagull in the water? It sounded like a seal playing seal or seagull. It sounded like a seal, but there wouldn't be seal here. So is it a seagull? Oh, what is that? 